Uh, hello people! Welcome to a little demonstration of my latest pump motor setup here. Uh, I finally uh, got a coupling there that is pretty fairly steady so I can spin my little Dremel. Uh, for this test I'm using a non cordless drum as you can see there. So I just want to see what happens <coughs> when I spin up the pump motor and the only load I have now is this <coughs> 11 watt uh, bulb over there. Because last time I didn't have any load at all and that was not good. <laughs> so let's see what happens now with this one. Uh, we'll start Start. <coughs> start at the lowest speed here. That one flick is in the way, and here we have the uh, AC voltage 60, around 60 there. So let's see if we speed it up some. What happens? Uh -huh. 140 volts and that is the frequency in the upper bit. That frequency is around 100 hertz, and we have 180. Uh, so. so. Okay, so that's two hundred and thirty volts AC and uh, what's that? And the frequency now is like, I don't know, maybe 125 hertz or something, which is a bit surprising to me, you know, because my RPMs now, it's, uh, okay. uh, anyway, the RPMs, now it should be like around 1500 RPM, you know. So I'm a bit surprised. I have this high frequency over 100 Hz and the voltage 230 plus volts AC. And yeah, the, the lamp is good. So the conclusion is, it, well, it, this was better than I was expecting, you know, to, because I have 220 volt plus, even around 1500 RPMs, you know, so I don't know, because uh, this pump motor should be a two, let's see it. I should be two two poles or whatever it's called. So I'm ex expecting to I, ha I should have to go up to three thousand RPMs to get to get uh, fifty hertz, but uh, that doesn't. That's not the result. <laughs> so I don't know. So the question now is if. If this 220 volts are 
managed to produce here from my pump motor is that going to be enough to uh, trigger or drive the two compressors that remains to be seen I'm waiting for delivery on my second compressor this week all right thank you for looking listening uh, see you around as you see you there uh, the set I don't know if you can see the setting on the scope is 10 uh, it's 100 volts per square and it's 2 millisec milliseconds on the time scale all right see you later